okay, everything I can do it in click. Anything that saves time is my money. When you look at the attackers, or when you look at someone who wants to make more money, here are the driving factors. You just type bank in the app store, and you get this many apps. This is just limited for the screenshot, but there are plenty of them, which deals with money. And I would like to showcase how in last year when we did an analysis on how much money was stolen and how much was stolen just by using the mobile phones or the smartphones, which has the capability of having an internet. 3G, Wi-Fi, sharing the internet. I saw an advertisement lately on sharing the internet, which is an excellent plan, but uh, same time you share your vulnerabilities as well. So it kept on rising like the one which you see, and you should know how it is with you. So what are they looking at? Someone can steal your identity. Would you be happy if someone updates your own status in your Facebook? And would you be happy if they change your gender in any of your social network, opposite to if you're a female to male, male to female? So these are the things that potentially can happen. Or if you download something and you reduce the performance of the device, that's also one thing. And the best thing was surveillance. And there's another video which I would like to show you on the surveillance, just for 30 seconds. And this was on the news. And we were asked to jump in to investigate uh, how it could have happened. OK, this is a horror. I'll do the voice for you guys. So, so abroad, there is uh, not just abroad, everywhere. There are connected cameras that are connected to your system where your a mom can take care of the kid through the mobile phone. She can watch the kid from wherever she is. And that, that's enough. You can take it off. So the, uh, the video which I wanted to show is the hackers compromising the baby monitors and monitoring the kids. And this is just view. In the technology of Internet of Things, what is happening is you can be anywhere with your mobile phone and you can control your electricity. If you turned on your lights at home and you forgot to it, the app will tell you you, have, you did not switch off your lights in your bedroom too. So you can turn it off using your mobile phone. Just imagine you have an AC and you could do that with your own app. And if that app is hacked, what could happen to your home? That's the impact on human lives. That that's the way it is going right now. And that's what is about surveillance, which I wanted to show you the video, that anybody can monitor you if you do not know what you download and install and play with it. A simple uh, research or a, a simple analysis of the past hacking incidents, a uh, type of attack, we call it a salami attack. That is, uh, before that, I can ask you how many, how much, uh, how many do have online internet banking account? What are your account numbers? It's fine. So have, have you tried transferring one bug, one rupee? Yes, works. Can you do that in ATM? No. So online gives you flexibility to transfer one rupee. And how many will get an SMS if you have transferred one rupee? Very limited. And will you be worried if it is one rupee? No? Yes? Who is yes? Oh, you're Nokia. That's fine. <laughs> and if you steal one rupee from an account, and imagine the banks that does not have an SMS facility, and the person who worries about one rupee will not opt for an SMS facility. One example. And Every account in that bank, imagining one million accounts are there, and stealing one one buck for every single account would give, make him a millionaire. And this has happened through a salami attack. It is like penny shaving. So you just give one one rupee from that account, and then transfer it across for transnational criminalization, terrorist activities, and stuff like that. 
This is a sample of one of the attacks which we have investigated ourselves. Okay, forget about that. That's fine, it's money, and anyway, if you have to be attacked, you will be attacked. Now, this thing has got a little bit scary. The evolution of ransom has changed now. So earlier, you don't see your kid coming home at five after the school, and you get a call telling, we have kidnapped your kid, so you gotta pay me money. So telephone was working, and now mobile phones working, now you get a WhatsApp image with your kids tied up, and then uh, telling, we are gonna kill your kid if you don't pay money for me or transfer the money to this account, yeah? And that's how the evolution have changed within the ransom as well. So what I'm trying to say here on the ransom is, what, how will you feel if you're not able to use your phone next one hour? Happy? Because you're listening to me? How about one full day? Very happy? Oh, I know, Chennai, we're sorry about it. And back to old age. So what I'm trying to say on the ransom is, it is possible if you click or do something which is not you mean to, or it is just because you like the Bollywood stars. For example, a guy likes uh, Bipasha Basu and he just gets some email from Bipasha Basu, he will be tempted to open it. So he opens it, it's gone. He just opens it and entire gallery, photos, contacts, messages, he just need to open, he need to enter the password. To get the password, he has to go to the website and he has to just pay money. And then still it is not sure that he is going to be unlocked. He will be always watched. And this is one of the biggest malwares that has shaken the entire IT industry, which was ZS, and now it is in the form of mobile, just like how you have transitioned yourself from the PC to the laptops to the smartphones, and that's exactly malwares have been transitioned themselves into shorter form. And this can do anything on your phone if it is infected, and everything that you share from your phone to someone else will infect them as well. Okay, I just made a video of one of the malware on the Android phone, and there is a video for it, and I can walk you through. That's the VLC player. Yep. This is proprietary, and this video will not be shared because there is a company name involved in it. So I just wanna showcase, everybody plays games, right? on the mobile phone when you're bored or is that your full-time job? Okay. So assuming the guy is already downloaded something malicious from someone else and he gets a message, it's on the top, it's not visible. No, uh, can you reduce the screen? So someone opens the URL, and there is telling Angry Birds edition, full professional version, so directly to the round 300. So you download it and watch. Have you guys ever noticed when you install any application in your Android phone, you either have to say yes or no? That means you cannot have an option, don't give internet, don't allow it to access SMS. You just have to say yes or no. Either you give full permission or you don't give it. And that's how Android works. But at least in uh, iOS, the iPhones will give you an option to select whether you should give access to this or not. Right? Go. And here, it is taking unnecessary access, which Angry Bird, why would it need access to your SMS? And why would it need access that cost you money? Yeah, leave like that on. So it gets installed on the device, and it's installed, you're happy, now you can open it, play, and you don't know what's happening on the background. So what is happening on the background when you, while you were playing? 
the board gets activated. And this can be invisible as well. So nothing is displayed for you, but on the background what is happening is generating revenue that it's making international calls for free or it's making international calls from your money and the guy who designed the bot gets the traffic money. And this is one sample of how, how a malware can infect it. And the guys with the Nokia, do you get missed calls from different numbers, which is international? If you do get, do not call back. If you call back, it's none other than the application getting infected to your smartphone, you getting infected to yourself by calling that number. So, what has changed in India? Uh, trust me, I did not put the Vijay Kumar name in the SBI thing. It was there, so I just took it. So, SBI now gives touch, tap, and go. In future, we are hoping that you just carry your phones to for any kind of payments, like a mobile wallet. You just carry your phone, swipe it, and go over. And this is the adoption that we are into right now within India. And we should also be careful on how this can be misused. So a guy standing in the queue, if you can touch, there is something technologist like NFC, Bluetooth. So somebody can sniff in between. So be careful before adopting. And these are the lessons that I would like to share from my experience. It's all about what you give is what you get. So if you have adopted yourself for the smartphone technologies, be prepared for this kind of consequences. One is data loss. So second is device lock, like the ransomware example which I gave. And privacy, don't, how many have true color when the privacy comes? So you guys are not just leaking your information, you're leaking your entire contact information to the world, right? If you have 200 contacts in your phone, it's synced with Truecaller, and Truecaller databases are synced. And that 200 people need not necessarily have a Truecaller, but you are giving them that information. So read the terms and conditions before you actually accept and install the app. It's, it's really nice to see if an unknown number comes with a name, but it also comes with a risk. And there is no privacy within yourself, so you gotta be careful. And it's all about mindset, behavior, and the capabilities. That is my proposing solution, that how you think and how you behave and what are your capabilities. Please know it, and then you can try for the future adoptions. And this is a food for thought before I end up the session. If you do not know, please ask. If you do not know who to ask, ask in public, you would get a response. And if you do not know what is trustable, find what is trustable. And in security, the word trust, zero. So always starts with zero trust, and then to an acceptable level we go, and then we proceed in accepting the risk. I don't think the women's uh, in this room or anywhere in the around surroundings carry a knife in their pocket to protect themselves. So you gotta accept the risk that you need to walk on the road, yeah? And please do know what you share. A single image in your WhatsApp or in your Facebook can share your own location details. And there is a murder history behind someone sharing the photo on the Facebook. Uh, they were exactly known the location of that kid and due to personal rights or something, the kid got killed just because they uploaded the uh, image on the Facebook with the metadata tag because it can also tell you which tab you have used, which camera you have used, which location you have used because it accesses your location services within your phone. And please do know what you share. And if you have any questions, I'm open for it right now, next two minutes. If you don't have any questions, you understood everything or nothing.
Yep, go for it. Sorry. Yep. Uh, that is the main source is uh, drive by downloads. Yep. Like users uh, unknowingly he is downloading the attachment, mm -hmm. and once the attachment is getting downloaded in the machine, it got uh, encrypted. So mm -hmm. what kind of countermeasures we can take for these kind of uh, ransomware, evolving ransomware like Cryptorni, Crypto World 4.0? Yeah. Any malware. Only one recommendation is: do not click on something which you do not know. The first one. And uh, for the companies or the enterprises, there's always a solution called mobile device management. And there you can if put you the ask me as an end user in the Google Play Store, I would trust only the apps which has defined as a company. And they exist. Not as an individual developers. Let's say HDFC Bank, if you say, there should be an HDFC Bank and their list of applications. But if somebody called HDFC Bank developer and you download it, then it is a stupidity. And um, with respect to security, it's all about common sense. I would recommend uh, Dinesh is one of the slides about common sense, which is really, really helpful for a uh, end user and uh, immaterial of any technology. All right, thank you very much for your time for listening to me.